In January, I made the stupid decision to design 30 homes in one night over on Happy Home Paradise. Link in the D box if you want to go check that out. Why did I do that, you might ask? Obviously, so I can unlock the ability to remodel my villagers' homes back on my island, duh. And tonight, I am finally going to start renovating them. But before that, really quick, I want to show off some houses that I did over on Fallbrook, my other island. Starting off strong, we have our fruity queen, Tangy. I wanted to give her a bright and colorful and kind of ugly kitchen and I ended up with this. Cute. Moving on, we have the Filler King Cephalobot. Now you're gonna have to trust the process here because the storyline that I have for Cephalobot is a bit strange. Basically, I like to believe that he's an alien robot who ran away from home, crashed onto Earth, and is now trying to live a life alongside us humans, and his dream is to be like one of us. His house is filled with a lot of stuff he found lying around Fallbrook, and he's now trying to study them in an attempt to understand why us residents enjoy these things and how it can make him be more human. However, a problem that comes from this is the fact that Cephalobot is a robot, meaning he lacks emotions, empathy, and just any form of feeling. So no matter how hard Hard, he tries to mimic what the other residents are doing, he may truly never understand why they do what they do or behave the way that they do because he himself lacks the emotional understanding behind each action. There's no passion, there's no empathy, there's no feeling behind what Cephalobot is doing, he's simply mimicking us for the sake of mimicking, and he may never truly understand what it means to be human, and because of this, this will eventually lead him to his downfall. At least that's the story I came up with. Anyways, here's his house. Doesn't it look adorable? I think it's cute. How fun. Moving on. Next up, we have the third house that I did, which was for Flop. I mean, Lopez. And I think we need to see this one unfold in real time. I know exactly exactly what I want to do with his interior. Oh my god, I forgot I gave him this hat. Oh, and he, he has his Christmas gift on display. How fitting that his Christmas gift is right here because I think it'll match perfectly with the vibes that I want to give to Sir Lopez. First things first, as always, I like to start off with the wallpaper. Which one of these wallpapers would work perfectly for Lopez? Ooh, that's a vibe. That's definitely a vibe. And for the floors, maybe we can stick with this that I was originally planning for cephalobot and then there's just this one piece de resistance that i saw somewhere in the catalog while i was doing tangy's house that i just know would work perfectly i think it just sums up who lopez is as a person oh of course here it is let's just put it in a lovely blue color and you know i think this is exactly what lopez deserves for his house don't we agree Psych. I'm not that mean. Oh my god. You really think I'm gonna do that to poor old Lopez? Trust, I will be giving him a nice house. Don't worry. And believe it or not, I actually put effort into Lopez's house and gave him a nice, cute, concrete loft. But, you know... He did ruin my birthday last I checked, and um, I may be a bitch to the heart, but at least I'm not a wolf in sheep's clothing, unlike Sir Lopez over there. So I decided that a corner of his house would be dedicated to showcase who Lopez truly is which is trash. You ruin my fucking birthday, I ruin your life. Don't fucking try me. Okay. So with those out of the way, now it's time to get on to my villagers on blue. For the first official house here on blue, who do I actually want to Ah, uh, oh shit, I didn't think this through. So I've given it some thought. I think what better way to start off on blue than with my favorite villager on the island. Sorry to Shino, sorry to Muffy, sorry to Kyle, sorry to Viv sorry to everybody else. I basically like every villager on here. Um <laughs> What? Anyways, we're starting off with Fred, if it's not obvious. I have an idea for what I want to do with Fred's exterior, kind of, if it can be done. No, it can't. I wish, I wish they had yellow panel siding in the game, but they don't. So what do I want to do with his exterior then? I, for the vibe that I have, I guess we can do... What the hell is this? Girl, I need to get my fucking head out of the gutter. I think this works. That's cute. Alrighty yo. so this is Fred. Brett's current house. You think I would enjoy it? It's very much my vibe that like run down lots of trash items. I actually hate it. Why do I hate it? Because it's just too 
little. You know, I feel like they if they're going to go for that trashy vibe, they might as well go all the way and just give us something extravagant and wild. Do y'all remember my Happy Home Paradise speed run that I mentioned at the beginning of the video? I'm going to mention it once again because I urge y'all to watch it. It's a great video. Go watch it. I'm going to copy a build that I did on there for our goodest boy, Harry. I'm going to give that exact build to Fret because I think that would work perfect for Fret and I'm quite a fan of it. So that's exactly what's going to happen. Okay, cool. For once on the channel though, I'm copying myself. We love to see it. We love to see it. We love that I'm going to be able to copy myself for once. I get to be creative. Probably just going to go by so quick because <laughs> it's literally going to be a carbon copy. So while I'm doing this, why don't we have a discussion? You and me. You're in trouble. We need to talk. Oh my god, no. Like, literally, it's currently Wednesday right now, February 9th, and in case you don't know, there's supposed to be a Nintendo Direct tonight at like five. Do I have any thoughts about the direct? Personally, no. I don't think anything crazy is gonna happen. Like I'm pretty sure, you know, we're gonna get some fun games here and there. That's great. Do we think there's gonna be anything Animal Crossing related? Hell to the fucking no. I do not think for a second that we're gonna get like something Animal Crossing related. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'd be super excited if we got something. Yeah, like I'm not holding out hope for it. Let's be honest, it's not happening. It's definitely not happening. Do we think that works? Putting that like on the floor like that? I'm kind of a fan of that. Like I think more so like what am I hoping for from this direct specifically? I really, really, really want Tomodachi life. Holy shit. <laughs> I want Tomodachi life for sure. Like that's the thing that I'm super duper hoping for from this direct. Just give us Tomodachi life on the Switch. That's all I want. Nintendo. Nintendo, I swear to God, all I'm asking for just please 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 i want tomodachi life imagine if i made tomodachi life content on this youtube channel oh my god i would be a legend i'd be an icon you know for a fact that tomodachi life and me is like the perfect brand for sure for sure i think i need to do tomodachi life on this youtube channel but like um what else am i hoping for honestly like I kind of want, I guess like Nintendogs, everybody's hoping for Nintendogs though, let's be honest. Do I think Nintendogs is gonna happen? Maybe. Like, I don't know, I feel like it could happen. I would like Nintendogs on the Switch. That would be a fun game. I feel like it would be very, very nice. Uh, but who knows? We'll see, like I said, probably gonna put my thoughts on the Direct down below or like edit it in right here. I probably won't though. What am I trying to do here? I don't know what I'm trying to do here. I had an idea in my head and now I'm like looking at it and I'm just like, this is not working out the way I wanted to. Hang on, we gotta like move some things around. What else is going on? Um, Every time somebody asks me like, how's life going? What's happening? Blah, blah, blah. I always like, I always just feel like Kat <laughs> from Euphoria, that one scene where they're like, oh, what's, you know, what are you planning? And she just starts having like a breakdown <laughs> and just laughs like crazy. That's basically how I'm feeling right now. Like, I'm just like... <laughs> Yeah, that's an exact represent. That's a great representation of how I'm feeling right now. In case anybody's wondering, what am I trying to do here, though? I don't know. I thought I had an idea for what I wanted, and now I'm just like looking at this, and I'm just like, this looks so bad. <laughs> this looks so bad. Hang on. I'm getting rid of this mini fridge because I want to put a regular size fridge instead. I don't know something about these white refrigerators. Like I know there's such like stigma amongst the rich folk, but I like white refrigerators. Is that weird? <laughs> and like. Like white appliances in general. I'm quite a fan of them, honestly. Sue me, I guess. Like, I don't really care if you're judging me for liking them. They're cute. They're fun. They're kind of nostalgic to me because, fun fact, I <laughs> had a white fridge growing up. I don't, I don't know where I was going with that. Okay. Well, that's one side of the house sorted. I hate the spacing. Like, why is it so far away from the table? Why can't it go like right there? Gosh, if we were able to alt place items in this game, that would just be so perfect. That would just be everything I wanted. Like, come on, Nintendo. Nintendo, please. I'm so annoying. Um, yeah, I'm really just going with like the sloppy vibes, as you can clearly see. I am a huge fan of sloppiness. I would never have a sloppy house myself. Like my house would be so spick and clean and spick and span and whatever the fucking saying is, I don't remember. I don't know if this is like obvious to anybody, but I am a very like type A person. 
I'm very organized, very clean, like everything has its place. But like, I don't know, there's just something about like those messy houses on TV and like in Animal Crossing, like, I don't know, I would never live in one, but I like looking at them. Does that make sense? <laughs> Does anybody else feel like that? Like they just love messy houses, but they themselves would never live in one. Uh, is that weird? I feel like that's weird. Do I care? Well, kind of, I kind of care. I mean, like, why do I find those things pleasing to the eye? I never understand. It's just, it's just one of those quirky girl things, I guess, sure. Okay, I wanna get like something else. Maybe something to like put right next to the bed. I guess I could put these. Uh, again though, I wish this was like a rug item instead. So that way like it can go underneath things. Uh, maybe he just draws a bunch of fish, sure. Fret looks like an artistic guy. And then let's get like a nice, ooh, where's that throwback mid chair? Yeah, that can go right there. Cause Fred's definitely someone who's into sports. He likes sports for sure. It's why he's dating Dom, let's be honest. Put it in the green just for some fun vibes. Um, Let's get some, why the fuck is that happening? Ooh, definitely this record box though. That's gonna go somewhere. No, let's not do that. I don't know. <laughs> is that a vibe? That, and then like another one. Does that look cute? And then, ooh, ooh, idea coming in my head. We can put like a nice cute little table over there. Uh, what's a nice cute little table that I have that would work? Would I be able to squeeze that in? Maybe if I do, nope, don't go on top. What the fuck did I just say? Um, no, I need like a one wide table, maybe this one and then get another one like that or like some kind of item that can just go there. Maybe more, ooh, yeah, when in doubt, put some cardboard boxes. I did not mean to. And then and get some more items. What is there to talk about though? <laughs> drag race, can I talk about drag race? Do y'all mind if I talk about drag race? I'm talking about drag race. UK versus the world, I never actually mentioned it. Who's watching it? Who's excited? Who's living? Who else is standing pants? Pangina heels. Um, the correct answer should be everybody because everybody should be standing Pangina heels. Pangina heels is the winner of the season. That is not a joke, just a fact. Why am I struggling? Um, yeah, I do love Pangina and I called it. I said she's talented. I said she's an icon and I'm happy that the rest of the world is finally seeing that because, well, yeah, Pangina is amazing and I'm a huge fan and I'm happy to see her as long as, as well as Jimbo, honestly, cause Jimbo has been slaying the competition too. You know, it's nice to see them finally get the recognition that they deserved, honestly. And I know for a fact <laughs> that Jeffrey Boyer Chapman is punching the air right now watching Jimbo slay the competition. <laughs> seeing Jimbo thrive, seeing Jimbo not get robbed of wins that he deserved. I just know he's screaming, crying, throwing up, looking at that. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. Please don't send hate to Jeffrey. He does not deserve that shit. He may have been annoying, but honestly, the hate that he got was just so fucked up. Like, let's be honest, it was fucked up. What else do I wanna give? I need to like fill the top area. Um, oh, I guess a radio. Oh, which by the way, uh, I didn't actually know this in the last home renovation thing you do because I don't play with game audio when I record. So like everything's quiet. You're supposed to go in and like actually select a song to play. <laughs> Cause if you don't do that, I just assumed it was like how it is in Happy Home Paradise where like their favorite song would automatically play. But no, you're supposed to actually go in and select a song for them, which is cute because like, yes, that's actually a great feature. Cause you know, you're actually able to change the song finally. They don't have to just stick with the default song that they're given. It's an easy way to change it for them. But um, pro tip, just in case you didn't know, because I sure didn't, if you visit Fallbrook's dream address and you go to some of my villagers' homes, you may notice that they are uncomfortably silent despite having a radio. Okay, um, I'm actually quite a fan with how everything is turning out. I think all that's missing though, we need to get some rugs up in here. There's that one rug that I think would work perfectly. Yes, not that one, this one. The shanty mat right there and oh shit. <laughs> I always forget, you gotta do wall items too. Wall and ceiling items. I don't think there will ever be a day where I remember you're supposed to do those until the very last minute. Okay, we'll put that lamp there. I feel like that matches the vibe perfectly. For sure, for sure. I wanna keep the wall items generally pretty simple. I usually go very like complex and like I try to clutter up the walls as much as I can. But um, something that I'm trying to tell myself nowadays is that, you know, less is more. I feel like less is more 
is just overall really great advice in general. <laughs> Fred's definitely a plant person though. Like he probably has a bunch of plants everywhere and like, you know, just some cute wall decor. Yeah, I don't know where I was going with that. So I'm gonna shut up now. Does that look cute? I think that's pretty cute for now. And then last but not least, before I forget once again, ceiling items, because that's also very important. And I think I'm gonna keep it very simple once again. Nothing too crazy. We're just gonna put a ceiling fan right over here in the kitchen area and then like a few lights. Not those ones, two of these, just like one over here. And where'd the other one go? In the bed area. And then maybe, maybe this item too, these split curtains, cause I actually really like them. I'm thinking just like right up against the door. Does that work? Does that look cute? If I just have like two of them like that, kind of renders the AC unit pointless. So I'm probably gonna have to move that. Ooh, definitely I wanna use these, these ones. And then, I kind of want to put something else on the wall. Just like one more thing. Maybe this mom's embroidery. Maybe like his mom made that for him. And like he has it displayed in his house, but he doesn't want it to be the center of intention because I don't know, it's very feminine according to him. Maybe this represents him and his mother. Sure, he just has that there. Fret's definitely a mama's boy. Let's be honest. Oh, I did not realize those are blocking <laughs> half of the house. Did I leave those up? Um, I'm gonna just keep one. Maybe we'll put like one over like that. I think this is pretty cute, pretty fun. Can't move myself out of frame. So we're just gonna have to make out with Tom Duck as I take photos of this cute area. But um, yeah. I think this is Fred's house sorted. We might as well move on from here. So Tom Nook, give me a quick kissy kiss. Okay, bye. So after doing Fred's house, I had a bit of a struggle. I tried to do Maddie's house and I had a dope idea for what I wanted to do, but I was missing a key item for the design. So I got mad, screamed, and then decided to do it later. But then I decided to do a house for our good menace boy, Dom. And I planned on doing a cute little corner shop since Dom does give me the vibes of a gas station cashier. And I thought it was gonna be a fun, cute thing, you know, very much inspired by Boys Crossing, Newt horizons you get the gist but i was missing another key item that i needed so i couldn't do it and at this point i was fuming there was only one house left that i had planned to do and i swear to fucking tom nook if i'm missing any more items i'm gonna flip we're doing it for kyle amanda if you're watching this this one's for you please 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 let me just have every single item that i need for this starting off with the exterior honestly like for the vibes that i'm going with kyle's house i kind of like the exterior i think instead though i'm gonna change it to a black roof and maybe that maybe i am gonna change it when amanda comes over he puts out nice flowers on the door because here's the thing okay so like this is the storyline that i have for kyle he's not living on blue it's double adobe all over again he still lives on molokai but he comes to blue to work because kyle is a businessman he has a job and what is that job you might be wondering he is a recording record producer person sure um think like john bellion nine inch nails those types of people that's exactly what he is he is a record producer music producer i think it's music producer yep that's happening that is happening so i'm thinking like we do that just very like black and white sure that's fun actually no we need some color let's do that instead and then what floors do i want to give i think just the cork flooring that seems appropriate i'm thinking like right now in my head like i said john bellion or nine inch nails no he's definitely like nine Nine Inch Nails for sure. He makes music like he would definitely make music for like Call of Duty. And honestly, like looking at it in my head, a hundred percent he would produce Halsey's album because I know that that album was produced by Nine Inch Nails. And I can definitely see Kyle creating Easier Than Lying, you know, the Animal Crossing version. Do I have simple panels? Okay, good. I swear to God, if I don't have every item I need for this build, I'm gonna scream and I'm just gonna do it anyways. Kyle, I'm sorry. <laughs> I am gonna basically try to create like a music room that's what's happening yeah that's exactly it we're gonna do like a little this and then move those over there yes this turntable i'm gonna put that like right there maybe this is like looking into it you know do we get the vibes we get the vibes so i'm thinking like the drum kit can stay right there we're gonna get rid of the piano because kyle's more of like a rocker dude rock on rah, rah, rah ish you know we'll put that microphone like right front and center i don't know which way's the front whatever maybe get like two of them one for bass one for thing i'm not gonna make it look very lived in i'm gonna make it look very like it's just you know because <laughs> nobody's in the studio right now sure um the drum kits we love a lovely cute little drum kit fun fact um, i play the drums in real life i haven't played it in a really long time but i am a drummer 
I'm not good, but I know the basics when it comes to drumming. I can do a basic beat. I can do fun things. Drumming, yeah. I. <laughs> oh God, now I realize people are gonna ask me to play the drums for them. I don't have a drum kit right now though, so I can't actually play at the moment. But it's a fun fact, like I said, for anyone wondering, what do we need next for Kyle? I'm thinking like a chair, cause he's gotta like sit down, you know, at the desk and like watch people. I think just like a simple office chair could work, just like right there. Yeah, the office chair without the handles so it can like you know you can actually sit in it that lots of browns lots of leather for sure for sure we'll get this like amp thing put it right there can i change the color i want to make it brown if i'm able to no we'll make it the red lots of stickers definitely kyle's like someone who would sticker bomb everything he looks like a sticker bomb dude person i'm thinking or, or you know we gotta do what i do Let's get some cardboard boxes up in here. What music do we think Kyle makes? He definitely produced If I Can't Have Love, I Want Power by Halsey. He definitely does video game music for sure. For sure he makes video game music. That is a known fact. I'm thinking like Call of Duty. I'm thinking Sonic. Honestly, Sonic may be like, you know, a game <laughs> that has a lot of um, choices to them. But one thing they never fuck up is their soundtrack. The Sonic the Hedgehog soundtrack, they never fly it always hits it always hits correctly i'm such a huge fan of the sonic especially sonic riders i think sonic riders <laughs> i would say sonic riders in general is such an underrated sonic game it's my favorite sonic game which is so weird because it's like one of the most random sonic games fun fact in general i like sonic sonic was actually like one of the first video game series that like i actually got into that's something that's kind of embarrassing to admit now that i'm thinking about it but i will admit I'm a Sonic stan. I haven't seen the movie yet though. Considering I'm such a stan, you'd think I'd see the movie. I haven't seen the movie, but I actually want to check it out because now that I, um, the second one's coming out and the second one actually looks really good because Tails and Knuckles and everyone are in it. I don't know. Like I said, I'm sorry to admit it, but I am a Sonic stan. Sorry <laughs> if that makes you annoyed. What am I looking for? This. My gush. I said gush. I wish there was a search button in this damn game. Why? Why or oh why is there no search? button I don't understand. You know, I've said before, I don't expect anything from Animal Crossing in this upcoming Direct, but I'm still open to it. I'm still open to some Animal Crossing Direct related news. I don't think it's gonna happen, but if they do, please, 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 can they give us some quality of life updates? Should I give him a gamer's desk? I feel like him having like, not a gaming setup, but like, you know, he definitely has like, you know, yeah, this, this digital workstation thing, like for sure. This is where like they do all the edit and shit for sure for sure um let's get like a stool maybe or maybe we can get like this chair and like put it over there that's cute things don't always have to like face in because you know especially in this game you can't get on that chair from the side so it doesn't matter you can just like have it like that i think that looks cute it makes it look really lived in too so that's kind of fun i guess um i want to get a couch because i feel like every music studio has a couch you know for when you come with your friends or whatever or like your manager or something like their manager can just like sit down and watch you record should I make it green? I always do green. Let's make it brown. I think the brown works better, that brown. Are we getting music studio vibes? Oh, that lighting. That lighting gives music studio vibes for sure. Yes, but I think I'm gonna, actually that lighting works too. I think I'm gonna do that lighting or should I do the yellow lighting? No, the yellow lighting's disgusting. Never mind. You gotta make it really dark though. In a music studio is usually pretty dark. Oh, you can't dim down the lights. If I use this one, it has to stay like that. Oh God, I'm gonna sit here for like 10 years trying to figure out the lighting aren't I um what do I want to put here maybe like a lamp or a plant oh yeah when in doubt put a plant for sure plants are always great yeah we'll put a cocoa tree uh and then I guess I can get a rug maybe this no we'll get in the black so it kind of matches that wall in the back and then it kind of separates the area sort of if I can fit all of them I think I'm able to fit them. Yeah, I'm a fan of that. Tom Nook seems to be enjoying what I'm doing. So that's great. Cool, cool, cool. That's one side sorted out. You know, I guess since we're starting off on one side, we might as well continue. And let's add some wall items. I think when making a music studio, it's definitely important to have some KK songs. I feel like he would definitely produce a lot of the KK songs. Kyle definitely made KK rock. That's for sure. Cause like I said, he's a rubber rareish rock boy. Maybe he did KK metal. And you know, in my my head, I feel like when Kyle's in his sappy feelings, maybe while he was broken up with Amanda, he did stale cupcakes. <laughs> 
He produced stale cupcakes as well and it won a Grammy. Shout out to Kyle. And you know what else? He definitely has like photos of people he's produced music for. Like definitely Cherry. Cherry's definitely a rock girl. We'll put Sprinkle too. Maybe Sprinkle does like, I'm getting like, Sprinkle definitely does like hyper pop, like the early 2000s hyper pop, that kind of vibe, the Y2K girly. Maybe Tangy as well. Tangy's like a bubblegum pop girly. I'm always putting my AC unit right on top of the door. I don't know why I do that, but I don't care. And I always put a radiator in every build I do too, because I just, I just like the radiators. I think it looks cute. All right. So the music studio side, I don't actually know how to lay this out. I'm thinking maybe the drum kits, well, the drum kits can go where they were right behind the microphone. I don't know how to lay this out. Like I said, there's not a lot of room to do what I want to do. So this is going to be quite interesting. We'll put like a guitar there and another one there maybe? Move them in a bit so it's like that. And we'll get another microphone or another instrument, sorry. Maybe like a harp. Maybe he's trying to be more experimental with his music because it's always great when producers and creative people in general get experimental and try out new things. Maybe there's a clarinet in here too because he wants to be an orchestra dude. I really should be unlocking more items before I do things. We'll get that though. Maybe like the lyrics are right there. And then maybe we can just grab a few more boxes and things and just call it there, honestly. You don't really need to put too much effort into all your builds, although it's ideal too. It's not necessary. Sometimes in life, like I said, less is more. And in this case, that remains true. Less really is more. Let's just put like cardboard boxes there or maybe, oh, even better, get rid of this. Let's put a table or like one of those little, um, you know, effects rack, whatever that means. Sorry to the music stands. And we'll just put like, maybe like a drink, you know, when they're taking their breaks, they just take a sip of their coffee and yeah. That probably works. I'm gonna add some more things to the wall. Maybe like a phone on the wall for business calls. Sure, cool. Um, ooh, maybe like these stickers, honestly, with the music notes on them. Can it be any more obvious that this is a music producer's room? Um, maybe he produced Bubblegum KK. Maybe he made KK Disco. Maybe he also produced my favorite KK song, which is Marine Song 2001, fun fact. I definitely wanna get a gyroid up in here. What's a fun gyroid? Definitely the wallopoid. It's just chilling. Good for that wallopoid. I hope that wallopoid lives a fun life. Now it's just a matter of lighting. Kinda wanna do the dark lighting and then we'll just grab some ceiling items to kind of brighten up the place. Maybe like, um, what other items on the ceiling? Maybe a disco ball just to have some fun. I guess like an actual light item could work. Are those even? I can't tell. I think that works. Yeah, so the storyline is that, like I said, Kyle comes to Blue to produce music for various people who live on Blue. Like Peanut, Shino, Maddie. Heck, maybe even Walker has an album dropping out soon. Like, you never know. Did I say dropping out? Walker has an album coming out soon too. Stream Walker's new album called Runner. I don't mind that that's kind of blocking out the backside of the thing, because honestly, the backside kind of looks a little bland anyways. I think this is cute. I'm actually kind of a fan of this, honestly. Um, Tom Nook, we're gonna make out again while I take photos. Doesn't this look fun? Doesn't this look like something Kyle would actually like work in? Sure. Like I said, the storyline is that Kyle doesn't actually live here. He just comes here to work. So he doesn't necessarily need a place to sleep on here or like a bed or anything. He just needs a place to work, basically. There's like no room for him to walk around though. It's gonna be fun every time I visit his house. I Pretty sure I'm not gonna be able to talk to him. So I'm probably gonna clear out some room. Actually, I'm gonna probably just get rid of that. So there's more space to actually walk around while I'm at it. I'm probably gonna move this like over there. Yeah, I think that works. This is quite cute overall. I can't believe I planned on doing four houses today and I only ended up doing two of them. <laughs> we got something out of this video though, so yeah. Cool. I have no plans for anybody else. So we, the three girl bosses of Blue, are probably just gonna call it here. So bye. I don't really know how to end videos anymore. So I'm just gonna say bye. Yeah, that's a great way to end a video. Bye. I'm gonna stop talking. Coconut Mall and Wii Sports are coming to the Switch. I am at peace. However, Tomodachi Life is still not coming, so I am no longer at peace. Anyway, Stan Carby. <laughs>